Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, first things first, I do still have my Christmas decorations up. I will be taking them down at some point this week, especially if I'm isolating, it'll give me plenty of time, but I know it's bad luck, but every time I look at them, I just don't want to take them down. I thought I would do a reaction to some comments that I've been receiving on an old video of mine. I literally put this video out like at the beginning of last year, and I only put it out because I had no content ideas, and I was trying to get back into YouTube, I was in a relationship, and I just felt myself drifting away from that because I was so happy in that relationship at the time. It's really a video that I just put out, I wasn't really overly caring about it, it wasn't meant to be taken too seriously, it was literally just something to put out as content. And it seems to be those kind of videos where I put them out and I'm like, meh, I just have no ideas that blow up a little bit and just keep coming back to bite me in the ass. So I'm going to read some of the hate comments. I would call them hate comments, to be honest, most of them. And some of the constructive criticism comments from his fans, and I'm just going to read them and react to it. Just a disclaimer, I mean no hatred to these people. Don't send any hate their way. I'll probably blow out their names, but I'm not about that life. My subscribers are much nicer than that and won't go bullying people for having an opinion. Pretty sure in the video I did say that he is capable of change, and even though he did, as I said a million times, film a dead body because people seem to have forgotten that or seem to have for just forgotten how severe that actually is and the consequences of those actions. Saying sorry doesn't fix something that's broken, but hey. Apparently it's now a <laughs> unpopular opinion that that in fact was wrong. I'm not saying that Logan can't change as a person and I said this in my last video too, but these people only hear what they want to hear. It's not that he hasn't changed as a person. I don't personally watch his content. I don't hate the guy, I just hate his actions. And I did say that a million times, but I can't go over it enough. So let's just get into the comments and react to them because I don't have the energy to waste on words that are just going to be overlooked anyway. I hate Logan Paul, but so what if he made a joke about emos? Sorry, social rejects. First of all, I don't particularly class myself as an emo. I think that labeling people into categories like that, like chav, emo, goth is so stupid. I did title the video something to do with me being an emo just because that is what people perceive me to be and I suppose if you wanted to put me into a genre of people you could put me as alternative emo goth whatever. I literally just did it for clickbait it's as simple as that. We're all trying to make it out here on YouTube. People shaming me for being emo is just really weird to me and I truly don't care. I feel like I'm back in 2007 at school when people actually gave a f but it's actually quite trendy to be alternative now so I don't know dude. I don't know why people can't forgive him, he has changed. You can forgive him, but it's up to everybody personally if they wish to do so. Just because the majority of people, it looks like for some reason, have forgiven him doesn't mean that certain people, i.e. me, can't still have strong feelings on what happened. Personally, it affected me deeply because I do struggle with mental health issues a lot and I have since the age of like 11 and it's been a massive issue in my life and I'm now 26 and... <laughs> You know, I've had some thoughts my entire life and I've been close to ending it a few times. It's something I'm very open about on my channel. It's something I like to discuss because I think it's important. As you can see, there is still stigma around it, clearly. I think some people don't see the severity of how a video like that could really affect people like me. And not only that, the victim of the situation. Do you really think that the hurt is gone or that the person that committed family has just forgotten about it and they're all healed just because he said sorry and made some PR video about <laughs> prevention you know it's up to everybody you have the right to forgive someone of course but it doesn't mean that their actions were right I could forgive someone in my life that's done wrong to me and still recognize that what they did was severely wrong and damaging it's as simple as that 90% talking 10% reacting I'm pretty sure I replied something to this like reacting is talking which is true the reason that I talk so much in my videos is because it is very cheap lazy content to just sit there wow ooh, reacting like that like it's such lazy content and no, my content isn't the best at all. I have a full-time job, so I can't put as much effort into it as I would quite like to, if I'm honest with you. But I feel like part of reacting is talking, and also, if you look into it with the rules on YouTube, you kind of need to talk over things that you're reacting to in order to class it as fair use. You actually look 35. This comment made me chuckle, and it actually flattered me because I always get told that I look 12, and so it was really nice to hear the opposite of that and it really confused me to, quite, to be quite honest with you. I always get ID'd for energy drinks and DVDs and stuff and I have issues with people thinking my ID's fake 
every time I go to a shop. The thing is, age being ageist is not cool. We all get older and I will never understand hating on someone for growing older. Like, that just baffles me in my mind. If anything, I am so grateful that I've made it to 26 because there are so many times I could have myself off and I didn't and I'm proud of myself for getting this far in life even if I still feel shit. I'm really proud of myself that I've gotten to this age and we're all gonna hit 35 one day so this comment just really it's definitely immature when someone comments on age and makes it sound like an insult because <laughs> the older you get the wiser the more life experience the more you grow I, I just don't understand I don't get it if you are don't like him then why are you reacting it because I'm allowed to react to whatever I like. I can react to whatever I want on YouTube. It's as simple as that. It's okay if you don't like Logan Paul, but come on, you got to accept this was funny. I didn't particularly find it funny, to be honest, but I suppose if you've never dealt with the issues that I have, or millions of people around the world have, then you could be ignorant to it, and so maybe you just need some education. You're really lucky that you've never had to have those kind of thoughts or anything, so, I'm glad that you find it funny in a way because I'm really glad that you haven't had to go through that and I wish you the best and I hope that you never have to feel that way. Personally to me it just wasn't funny. We all have a different sense of humour and not everybody finds the same thing funny. I am pretty chill with sense of humour, like I make dark jokes all the time, trust, I make self-deprecation jokes, trust me. All I ever do is make fun of myself so I'm really not too offended. It was more just wanting content, that's all it was. Honestly, I get some of the things you said, but you literally rambled for 16 minutes about being emo, it was a joke video, and the forest thing happened two years ago, get over it. This angers me, right, because I make long content on YouTube, because you, the YouTube algorithm, I don't know if you know, if you're a creator you'll know this, they boost you based on how long your videos are, and how many views you get and watch time and stuff, so yes, I do tend to ramble on, First of all, because I'm a bit scatty, I can admit, and second of all, because it helps me in the algorithm and it helps to boost my channel and ultimately that is my goal. Also the fact that you're saying it happened two years ago, I don't understand that. It's, it's almost like saying to a victim or survivor, or I said to someone whose dad had committed said, it's been two years, get the f over it. It's so wrong. Healing takes as long as it needs to take you and I can't stand people that tell you to get over things or you should be over this by now or why are you still you're so sad like what the hell healing is a process that is different to every individual and I will never understand how people think you can get over traumatic things like that so fast yes it wasn't particularly traumatic to me it didn't happen to me I didn't see the video you see what I'm saying you can't put an expiration date on how long you can be offended or upset about something that's so stupid and I don't understand. Get over it already, someone said forgive and forget. I understand the idea of forgive and forget, I do. Again, it's up to the individual, you can forgive him if you would like to. This one, I read this at work and I remember laughing out loud. Bruh, I really thought emo people was different in a good way, but this girl made me change my mind, she's a psycho. <laughs> I'm a psycho because I think it's wrong to film a body of a victim and put it out there for millions of children to watch online and be traumatised for life by. Okay. The way you talk and pronounce your words is like an old person. And I replied saying it's called being literate and then they replied, do you get notifications whenever someone comments? I'm like, dude, <laughs> you don't even know how YouTube works. Honestly, I just thought that was funny. This is what I mean by his fans. They don't have any real valid arguments so they result to insults and trying to find something nasty to say like calling me a psycho or saying I speak too literally like I'm too posh I, I speak too well like how is that an insult I don't get it and why do you pause the video every five seconds because of YouTube rules uh, you can't just steal someone's content you just can't and I wouldn't do that to even Logan Paul like it's not fair and this one, oh my god, I can't with this one. Someone said, stop thinking that it's 2016 and ex ex expect, expect that it's a joke rather than accept. And every second, don't call him the mistake that done three, four year ago, you second-hand Trisha Paytas. <laughs> Dude, you're comparing me to Trisha Paytas. <laughs> that is kind of an honour. I'm like, wow, I'm really relevant. <laughs> Trisha Paytas makes that coin on her I respect her as a businesswoman, she is problematic, but 
oh that just made me laugh I was like dude wow the insults these fans come up with are they're really they're really something I hate how you are and I said thank you <laughs> uh, I know that this is gonna bring his fans back to my channel saying stupid shit, but go ahead have fun in the comments the more comments I get the more you boost me in the algorithm so I don't mind at the end of the day I really I made that video just for content and it doesn't haunt me every day. I don't hate the guy. I really don't. In fact, I've watched a couple of his videos, like his podcasts and stuff, and he seems okay. He's still very problematic, but it's the same as Trisha Paytas. Like, no one is perfect, and I don't take YouTube influencers that seriously unless they're really damaging people. It's just that one thing that he did that one time that I just truly don't... <laughs> I don't forgive, and I will never forget. And... I don't understand how it's become an unpopular opinion to say that filming a body is wrong. That's the only point I'm trying to make and I think I made my point with the comments that came through on that. It really shocked me that it was like controversial opinion. I remember telling my sister that I'm still getting hate on this video the other day and she was like what the hell what's wrong with people and she was reading the comments and she was getting irate and she was ranting to me and I was, just, I was like exactly thank you someone's sane here who agrees with me i felt like i was going crazy but there were some nice comments on that video so thank you very much to anyone that was supportive to me thank you so much for watching this was a bit video but i just felt like being sassy you can like comment and subscribe i make new videos whenever i can i am in isolation right now so hopefully i'll be making videos pretty much every day i'll see you in my next one i hope you guys are staying safe and well make sure you're taking all the precautions that you can and not going out if you don't need to. Make sure you get tested if you have any kind of symptoms, just get it done and I hope you're having a nice new year. Peace!